And so I started working as a tax collector and you'd ride around, this is the part I like the most, you'd ride around on a horse to your rounds and you'd inspect goods and you'd put your stamp on them. But I began to realise that if you were a tax collector, you were paid such a paltry wage that between maintaining yourself and a family if you had one and a horse which you had to keep so you could ride around, you couldn't live without doing something immoral or illegal. You had to cheat or you had to steal or perhaps even take bribes. And some of my fellow excisemen did all of those things. Some did some and not others. And I realized that this was an injustice. And one time we were sitting around the excise, the other excisemen and, and me. We, you know, we would get together in a, in a tavern and have a drink after we'd finished our labors for the day. And, and we'd talk about affairs and, and adventures we'd had. And we'd, we'd also sing songs sometimes, a, a song like this one. There was a rich merchant in London did dwell. He had but one daughter, an uncommon fine young girl. Her name it was Dinah, just sixteen years old. And she had a large fortune in silver and gold. A toorooloo. We got to talking and someone said, we need to do something about how poorly we're being paid. Another fellow said, let's appeal to the king. Another fellow said, let's write a petition to the parliament. The first fellow said, Payne knows how to write well. So I volunteered to write the petition.